<coughs> yeah, hi guys. Um, today we're doing a video where I'm showing <coughs> where I'm showing uh, how to create a dashboard in Kibana, which will allow you to to track an authorized SSH access to your servers. So, you know the the setup here is that let's say you have you have a firewall in your you know for your servers in your you know envi in your environment and um, if you want to track uh, you know who's trying to who's trying to to connect to your servers uh, via SSH um, but you know speci uh, specifically which IP address uh, is you know is, is trying to eat you so okay let me let me show you so you know what I've done here the um, the lasting search stack uh, has already been set up uh, the IP table has already been set up too so I'm going to show you how to how to plug your um, your IP table logs to uh, to elastic elastic search and Kibana and um, I'll show you how to create um, you know how to create a, a dashboard for it so first thing first let's have a look at um, so this setup assumes that you've got your IP tables uh, configuration already done. So I've got mine done here. So I'm just going to show you quickly. Uh, but we're not going to we're not going to delve into you know, in, uh, into the details of the IP table configurations. Um, okay. So so this is the this is the entire IP table. It's not so important, but I'm just showing you that okay, I'm allowing SSH from from this IP addresses, um, but that's about it. I'm not allowing S uh, SSH from any other machine. So I'm just gonna quit that. Then um, now the most important thing is to plug your IP table logs, which in my case. The logs are in IP table denied. This is the log. Okay. So this is the log where where my IP table uh, denying rules are currently logging logging into. So if you come here, you'll see a whole bunch of entries. You know, this is everything that's getting de uh, denied. So you want to plug that into into your log aggregation and analytic tool which is uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana so we do ET uh, so we go to the file bit configuration file okay so yeah so this also assume that you've got you know that you've set up a uh, file bit already I'm gonna do another video where, um, you know where, where we do file bit configuration from scratch so this is your configuration file so I'm gonna go to where I'm logging and as you can see here these are the files that I'm monitoring and as part of my file I've got var log IP table dash which which will basically which basically monitors uh, you know my IP table deny as well so that's all you do here you define that there and then you obviously start your you will start your file bit which is running here already don't need to restart it um, yeah so now let's go to let's go to Kibana right. okay so there's Kibana I'll come here and discover Okay, and I'm gonna do file bit because that's that's what I want to track. Now from file bit, we'll start uh, filtering it out to what we want to see. So the I the the important field that we want to track from, which we uh, would be source, because we want to say from this specific. Uh, log okay and the specific log that we want to 
that we want to trace is var log IP table deny. So we need to look for the field here. Um, okay, well, there it is here. It's already one of our popular fields. So you go add. Okay, once you add it, then it comes here on the selected field. Now, on here, you can filter even further. So you click on this. And you can see I've got var log, uh, var log IP table deny. Okay, so it's it's got about 7.4 percent of that. So th you know um, that's where I want to go. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign. So there it is. Now and what I want to do, I'm gonna do auto refresh, five second. Okay, I can do last 15 minutes. Okay. So now I've, I'm, I'm filtering, um, you know, I've, I've filtered this to to look at my denial log. It's okay, but we want to filter even further because we only want to track SSH. So I'm just going to pause this, and I'm going to open one of them, and um, okay, so. You know, you you'll need to you'll need to know and understand your um, your output message. Okay, so this is this is a typical output message from uh, from IP table. So okay, it says IP table denied, and then this is an incoming packet on that port and da da. Okay, and the source IP address, which is here, destination, length. Da, but what's more important because what's what's gonna what will be the distinguishing factor you know that that will tell me um, that this was an SSH traffic <coughs> now the, the the deciding factor will be under destination port DB port because destination port will be the SSH port which will be 22 Okay, so now that I know that, I can filter even further. I can say, okay, I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to say end message, okay, because um, it will be part of the message. Message is dpt port equals the port number, it will be 22. Then I'm going to say save. Uh, this will look for this will look for uh, for anything in the message you know that's got that has this string you know which will be the SSH port okay I'm gonna say play and as you can see there's nothing all right so in a typical environment you'll probably want this to be so you could do it's it's fine. Let's leave it at 15 minutes. But maybe you know, like in a typical enterprise environment, you might want to have this set to 20 24 hours. You know, so that you can track anything that happened within a day. So let's just do that. Let's do last 24 hours. Okay. All right. So now that this is running, you're going to save this. Okay. Okay. Now before you save it, you want to you know you want to make sure that it works. So to do that, we will uh, we need to initiate an SSH connection which will fail. So we'll go on to a client we, um, who can um, yeah who, who cannot SSH to to our machine. So we we'll do an SSH. This client client two is not allowed to SSH uh, you know onto that machine. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put that and then I'm gonna connect on to this machine now okay I will go here and we keep on watching this now this should update as soon as it picks it up oh there we go there's two attempt uh, that's what try oh there's four attempt you see okay so we're just gonna cancel I mean cancel this now because we already know that okay so the um, the um, the filter is working, okay. Uh, it, it's filtering out properly. So then, what we're gonna do? We'll save it. We'll save it as make firewall uh, test. 
Okay. Now save it here. Now I've saved. I've saved the search. Okay. Right. So now we're gonna create a visualization for it. So we go on visualization. Then we'll say create, and we want to do a metric. Okay. Uh, metric will, be, uh, will basically give us a count because then you know to have a nice dashboard so uh, um, uh, the final view of this dashboard is that you know uh, we'll have a counter you know so you have the dashboard and then when you look at the dashboard it will basically show show you a counter of you know of how many failed uh, SSH attempt has been and um, apart from that we'll also add uh, you know the detail view you know, the, um, so we can drill down and see from which IP addresses to which IP address uh, that failed. Okay, so on here we'll say uh, we'll give the name of the search that we just saved, which is this one. Okay, we select it, and as you can see, there's it here. It comes and see we have five count. So what we'll say just going to change the name we'll say uh, we'll say denied SSH attempt okay then we can save that this will take the name and then um, yeah and then we can basically save this visualization like this so we're going to say make a um, our exploit test this for visualization. Okay, there it is. Now the visualization has been saved. So let's go create a dashboard. Say create new dashboard. Say add visualization. It will be the one we just saved, which is this one. And then um, on top of the count, we also want to have uh, the details, which is this. Okay, this is the, this is the one that we had saved too. We come on here, so now we have a count and we have the details as well. So this looks looks pretty looks pretty good. So then we just will save this. As make our SSH test dash. Okay, you, you can give it any random name that you like. I'm gonna save it like this, and now I've got my dashboard. So, okay, so now I'm in my dashboard. So what will happen is that you know, so whenever you have a failed logging attempt so let's let's generate a new one from here so again what's important is that we are monitoring within the last 24 hours and it's refreshing every five seconds so let's try to generate another attempt once you generate this one okay let's say this guy tried and then it didn't go through kill it because it's going to go through as you can see now it's jumping seven eight right so there we go here okay so about about four attempts it's been done so you can come you can come here into details and you can view from which IP address this this attempt was done it is where is it? Where's my source now? Source. Oh there we go. One ninety two, one sixty eight, fifty six, one oh three. Which is this machine. Uh, sorry. Uh, there it is. Yeah, that's the that's the IP address that's you know within the range. So this is where it came from, and that's the machine. And uh, you know if you don't if you don't like these IP address trying to connect to your machine, you can obviously now go to your 
IP table on your machine here. And then we will deny it. So we can now say, let's say we don't want that to come through. Um, let's just let's edit here. I know it's coming from 103. Now I can say press J. Eject. Okay. So here we're going to go and check them completely. Now once they're done, we need to restart. Um, To restart IP tables, that IP tables done. So now, when this client tries to SSH again, you know it gets um, it gets rejected automatically. So this doesn't even reach my network. Okay. All right. Oops. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed us. Uh, you can leave a comment. Yeah, you can leave a comment.